today I'm going to show you how to make a custom toolbox inside of SOLIDWORKS. First, go into your add-ins and make sure the toolbox library is checked on. Once that's confirmed, go over to your task pane and view your toolbox. From here, go up to the top right icon that shows the screw, which represents configure toolbox, and select it. Once selected, you will be transported to the toolbox settings. From here, you will see all the different standard folder types you have access to inside of your toolbox. For this example, you're going to click on ANSI inch, bolts and screws, hex head, and then heavy hex bolt. As you can see, you have access to all the standard properties, general, size, length, thread data, thread display, and even color. For example, you can very easily add in a new length by clicking on the blue plus mark. I'm going to add in a new size of a 3 quarters of an inch with a length and thread length of 1.33. Notice the possible configurations now jumps up. Also, if you scroll to the bottom of the table, you can see that the new length was added. You can very easily disable lengths that you won't use in your toolbox by unchecking them, or you can completely delete them if you're not going to use them at all. Now, if I scroll down in my total parts list for the heavy hex bolt, you can see that the new length is accounted for. I can even add in custom properties if it's not in the standard properties. For this example, I'm going to add in the custom property of finish. I'll do a copper, nickel, and a raw finish. I can even link the custom properties to materials inside of SOLIDWORKS. Once I select OK and activate it, you can see that finish is now displayed in the table. And the possible configurations has tripled. I can edit this table even more by exporting the Excel version of it. Simply go to the Excel icon in the left corner and select Export. You'll then save it to a certain file location and open it. Notice the new finish property was exported as well. Note, you cannot add any rows or delete any columns. All you can do is insert part number, description, or comments in their corresponding cells. I'm going to enter in part number 18, and for description, I'm just going to type note. Now all I have to do is save the Excel and import it back into the table of the toolbox settings. See how part number 18 and the description note was now inserted into the table. Let's say you don't want to make changes directly to the ANSI inch folder or any of the other folders because you want to use them as a backup. You can actually create an entirely new folder and copy over any of the other folders into this new folder and begin manipulating that new folder. Enabling and disabling any components you see fit. Once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and save this toolbox settings. Notice the new folder I created is now located in my toolbox inside of the task pane. Let's now see how I can choose my new custom properties finish inside of a SOLIDWORKS assembly. All I have to do is drag the heavy hex bolt that I customize into my assembly graphics area and in the configure component properties manager, you'll now see the new size that I added of three quarters of an inch with the new length of 1.33 and also the new finishes, copper, nickel, and raw. These properties can even carry over to your bill of materials. Now go and start configuring your toolboxes today.